with this sugar bowl. It's not something I usually pick up, but I have sold a few Disney things in the past and it had everything, its spoon and its lid, and it looked in good condition. I got it for $3 and it's selling for $30 on eBay. And next we've got this children's Sesame Street book. I have been trying to learn more about books, figured I'd start with children's books. There's usually not quite as many at the thrift stores I go to, so it's not super overwhelming to look through them. And so far all I've been doing is going for ones with bright colors or that look older, and it seems to be working. Uh, this one sells for a decent amount, I got it for 50 cents. It's in really great condition, like there's no marks on it anywhere, the binding is great, and I actually remember reading this as a child, so that one stood out to me. This one stood out because of the illustrations. They're crazy, a little weird, um, and also because of some of the things that the awards that it won. So I went ahead and looked it up. It looks like it's selling for between 30 and 40, which is really surprising for a book. Um, even in this condition with like the kind of worn dust jacket and it's obvious that this was in a library, it's still selling for that price. And then this one, I recently picked up another book by this author, so I went ahead and picked up this one. Um, I already sold the other one that I got, so I figured I'd give this one a shot. It was 50 cents as well, and it looks like it's selling for like 15, which that's not a bad turnaround. Alright, next we have this. I always hear them referred to as tumble-ups, so you would put it on your nightstand and put water in it and then you have a cup. So if you need a drink in the middle of the night, this one I'm guessing is from the 70s or 80s and probably get $20 for it. It's in really great condition. No markings on the bottom. All right, next we have this set of brass sailboats. I have I have found this style of brass sailboat before, but usually the smaller versions, so it's kind of fun to find big ones. Um, I do really well with brass on Etsy especially. I will most likely list it there and use terms like mid-century modern lines, minimalist, simplistic, coastal, those type of things to get it to the people who are using that design decor in their home. Next we have these really pretty butterfly, most likely these are butter pats. I've seen people also call them tea bag holders, so I'll use both of those. They're each different, they have butterflies, um, they have a marking on the back. So I'll look those up. I have not yet, I just went off of books for picking up these. So I'm not sure what those will sell for. Butter pads that I've had in the past have sold for around 15 to 20 for a set. And this I picked up because it was brass and a horseshoe, but I was a little confused by it. I wasn't really sure why, if it was a hook, it needed so much space. Uh, a little bit more digging and realize that it's for holding a bridle, which makes perfect sense uh, with the horseshoe. Um, so, but I'm sure you can also use it for purses or coats. And I have sold a lot of brass hooks in the past. <laughs> this one is brass bathtub. People use them as soap dishes most often is what I hear people I have sold a ton of these I find them kind of everywhere and they always sell within a couple of days 
not a huge gigantic profit, like $15, but it's kind of nice to just be able to list it quickly because I already have a listing for them and just go on. I know it'll sell. <laughs> And then next we have this brass seashell trinket dish, jewelry holder, ring dish, I'll use all those terms. It's brass, it's cute, it's seashell, <laughs> it will sell. Um, next I was super excited to find this, it's fun when you recognize something. This is Namaji pottery, hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> um, I have sold some of their bed vases before, but never found a larger planter before. It's still not gigantic, but I love the colors. I love the marbled effect. It's really cool. Um, perfect for like a bohemian um, style home. And then we have oops, this. He is probably modern, but he is so fun and kind of an art pottery style. He's a little, maybe a key holder for outside, or you could put your ring in it, or I don't know what, but he was too cute to leave behind for a dollar. I haven't looked him up, but usually things of this size and style I get about $15 for. Finally, our last items here, we have a set of quails. So I have sold the brass version of these, the enameled version of these, the white ceramic version of these. This is the first time I found a brown set, um, but I usually sell them. Quails were popular in the 70s, 60s, 70s, mid-century decor. So, uh, I will add those to my Etsy shop, most likely. And that is everything that I purchased. I did not spend a lot of time um, thrifting for resale this particular time. My oldest son has grown a few inches, so I was looking for new clothing for him. <laughs> but I still feel like I found some great stuff and will be able to pay back myself for all those clothes I got for my son.